You could feel the excitement as soon as you walked into the theater. My brother and I both got martinis, my sister got a vodka tonic, and we toasted being with one another. We could not remember the last time that it was just the three of us, the three siblings, doing something together. But here we were, ready to make our way to our seats in the Hudson Theater for the final performance of the award-winning musical, Merrily We Roll. It's my favorite work by Stephen Sondheim. I had seen it when it opened last fall, and it was a memorable and wonderful experience. But this second time was different. It was the final performance, and my brother and sister had made the decision the three of us would go together to see this final performance. As we went into the theater, I took a long look at the crowd. There was incredible kindness and a kind of contagious joy, a sense of familiarity. We didn't know one another, but we were here we knew all of us to experience a moment, an exciting moment that we would soon share. I wonder what the crowd was like after being fed by Jesus in that open field. I wonder if the mood changed from moving from a lack of growling stomachs to stomachs that were now more than full. I'd like to think that, however, the mood was something a lot deeper. I'm thinking in that crowd there was a sense of joy, a feeling that we have just together experienced something that was astonishing, something that was nothing short of a miracle. But I think there was something even deeper than that. Something about them changed. And one of the songs from Merrily We Roll Along, one of the actors sings, something is changing, shifting ground, it's just begun. Edges are blurring all around, and yesterday is done. The words capture what happened in that field, I believe, to that crowd, that they began to feel something was shifting and changing, that yesterday was gone. And they came to realize that, yes, they might be strangers. They might disagree with one another. They might have very different lives than one another. They might not even understand who this Jesus is. But what stirred in them was that this, they had an experience of being noticed, of being united, of feeling this connection with Jesus who made them connected to God and to one another. An experience of realizing that all of them were hungering for something that each of them knew what it meant to have your heart broken, but also knew what it meant to have joy, to feel peace, and to know love. The theme for today's reflection is work. And my thoughts go to that verse in John's Gospel in which he says at the end, the direction, gather the pieces, let nothing be wasted. At first thought, rightly, you might say, well, this is about the cleanup that has to be done and getting out the Tupperware and make putting the leftovers together and sending them home. As Catholics, we believe that those who come to the Eucharist leave with work, but something much different than that. We're called at Mass to gather what we have received, that is the very presence of Jesus, and to bring him into our daily lives we gather up all the challenges we received at Mass. We gather up all the hope, the comfort, the kindness, the enthusiasm, and we are told the Mass is ended. Go and bring these wherever the journey takes you. How different might our lives be if that's how we understood coming to Mass each week? If we looked at Mass as more than whether we liked the homily or the music or thank goodness at Mass wasn't too long. At the Second Vatican Council, it was declared that the liturgy is the work of the church. That's the word they use, the work of the church, to gather one another together each week, to bring what's stirring and shifting in our lives and to return to our lives as people who will do the work of Jesus, which is to serve, to heal, to forgive. At the end of this performance, the final performance of Merrily We Roll Along, after all the bows and the standing ovations that went on forever, the producer and the director, both sisters, blood sisters, came on stage. And together they called onto the stage 
everyone who is involved in the production, everyone, all the behind the scenes people, all the front of house people, the positions and the people that you don't even know exist putting on a musical. Maria Friedman, who is the director, ended her remarks by asking the actor Jonathan Groff, who is one of the stars of the show, to come forward and to repeat one of his lines that he speaks in the show, a line that she believes captures the theme and the message she wanted every audience throughout the run to take home with them. In the play, Jonathan Groff plays a musical composer and his partner in creating these musicals is played by Daniel Radcliffe, whose name is Charlie. And Groff says at one point to Charlie, Musicals are a great way to state important ideas, ideas that can really make a difference. Charlie, we can change the world. Our faith is not a nice idea, nor is our belief in the true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist a simple idea. But our gathering each week, if we are serious about it, and we put ourselves completely into it, can change the world. I believe this is the work of those who are fed by Jesus, both 2,000 years ago in a field and today in 2024. We live in a world where there is great famine. There is an unfair distribution of the world's goods. We live in a time of great division and terrible conflict. And at times it can seem so overwhelming, you just want to turn the news off. Maybe we can't change the world, but we can change ourselves. The late Pope Benedict XVI once wrote, the Eucharist is the sacrament of unity. Whoever receives it cannot fail to be a builder of unity. Perhaps in the times we now live, that is the work we need more than ever to reach out to others in kindness, to limit the social media presence so we can be more present to the world around us, to find in the people that we work with and live with and play with each day the things that unite us rather than divide us, to seek forgiveness and to offer it, realizing that forgiveness is what nourishes the human spirit. Leaving the theater on that final performance of Merrily We Roll Along, that itself was a moment of grace. You know, the theater, Hudson Theater, holds almost a thousand people. And we all walked out kindly, gently, no, you go first. And after having laughed and cried and applauded together, it seemed that the spirit of unity spilled out onto 44th Street as we each went our own way. Maybe we are not rolling merrily along these days but we are making a journey together. This weekend, when you go to Mass, and if you're on vacation, please go to Mass. Don't leave without taking a good look at the people in the church. Use your first name when you say hello to someone you don't know. Take a deep breath and realize you and this group of people have just witnessed the extraordinary moment of Jesus being truly present to you and then recommit to the work of bringing just a little bit more unity into your daily life. This, my friends, is how the world begins to change.